and you go underneath the bridge. That could be it. Check that out next time. I think, I think on the other side of the bridge there's a power station. And then you can cut down the road on the side <clears throat> and end up going underneath the bridge. That way you're over that, that creek. can't quite remember, but next time, call that next episode. I know my videos aren't really cliffhangers, but it's all I got right now. sure this is on. I don't know if it's still recording or not. Looks like it is. I can't tell. Video ends. I'll just be talking to myself. I guess that's okay if I don't answer. I think before I take my next ride, I'm gonna change my oil. <laughs> Maybe I'll do a little oil change video just to show what my oil looks like for the first, first change that we do. some cigar somewhere. Till the light turns green to go. <laughs> well, they'll make it. Woo. Nice breeze. to get a 360 camera, put it up on top of the, the helmet or mount it on the handlebars. It'd be kind of awesome to get everybody to see what's going on all the way around. Although I've seen two or three people that got them now and they don't use them. They, they continue using the, the GoPro or their other cameras. They, they got a problem with how they function or battery life maybe I don't know if somebody out there got one of them let me know what you think Taco 
sails. Used to live in a uh, 2,200 square foot house. And we we're trying to save up so we could move to the Philippines, my wife and I. And we were not doing it. We weren't saving. We were just spending money on a house. We didn't, it's too big for our needs. And we ended up realizing that, so we sold it. Bought a much smaller one. I think we got 1,200 or less square. That's got to be under 1,200. I have to check it. Maybe it's 900, maybe 1,000 square feet now. For the basement, we don't use because I hate storing things in the basement. But that's helping us to uh, put money into our savings. So we can save up to make our dream come true. It's gonna take a while, but hard work pays off. Yep, that one was a little bit red. in Kent City, which is way out kind of in the country. And we came all the way back to Grand Rapids, 45, 50 miles back. Uh, I think we paid 55000 for the house we're in now. Lower, on the lower side, because we're in the, I wouldn't call it the bad neighborhood, but we're in the congested area. Let's put it that way. We're in the congested area. It's houses are close to each other. Brings property value down. But luckily we got an empty lot next to us that we own. And we're in an alleyway. So we're in the house directly behind us. Got to sneeze again. <laughs> Sorry about that. Over it's pretty nice. Nobody around directly next to. The neighborhood's not too bad either. It is on a main road, so there's a lot of traffic, but I like it. It serves our need, and hopefully when we sell, it'll sell for our need as well. the house there's the dog that protects the house got a dog house or rather lay on the concrete yeah, this was the for the bike Ugh. and let's check see if I'm uh, talking to myself or hmm, my shoe went dead talking to myself or if I'm still recording yep, still recording. hope you enjoyed the, uh, the ride uh, stay safe out there. Enjoy your ride.